Hi, welcome to another Cold Fusion video. Remember Nokia? You know, that company that used to dominate the mobile phone industry in the late 90s and early 2000s. The company that could do no wrong until it of course did. Well, after a swirl of unconfirmed whispers and rumours, the company from Finland is returning in 2017. As most of you probably know, Nokia was losing massive market share to Android and the iPhone in the late 2000s, but refused to get onto the smartphone game early. When they finally did get into the smartphone game, they took a gamble and decided to use Microsoft's OS instead of Android. This, of course, meant that even though Nokia's build quality, camera, and hardware was pristine, the main complaint from users was that there were no apps. This didn't bode well for Nokia, and eventually Microsoft bought the device and services division of Nokia. After this, they ran it straight into the ground. Part of this contract between Microsoft and Nokia was that no Nokia branded phones could be released up to 30 months after the deal. Now that 30 month period has just passed and Nokia can create their own devices again and wear their brand name proudly. According to the website Know Your Mobile, there's going to be two models a mid-range phone and a flagship handset. The flagship phone is said to go head-to-head -head with the Apple iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy S8. For those interested in the technical details, the rumours are saying that the flagship phone is going to have the as-yet unreleased Snapdragon 835 CPU with 6GB of RAM. Take that with a grain of salt, of course. So the interesting thing is, Nokia itself isn't going to be making the phone, but they kind of are. I'll explain what I mean in a second. So Nokia no longer has the manufacturing facilities to make the phone, but they're going to be collaborating with a brand new Finnish company called HMD Global, as well as the Taiwanese manufacturer Foxconn. The reason I said that Nokia kind of is going to be making the phones again is because HMD Global was actually founded by veteran Nokia executives. These ex-Nokia employees founded the company in May 2016 after purchasing part of Microsoft's mobile division. In a press release, HMD said that they were going to develop, market and sell the Nokia branded phones and accessories while Foxconn is dealing with R&D and manufacturing. Nokia is going on an all-out marketing campaign blitz. This includes contracting the largest independent advertising firm in the UK, Mother. And I think this is probably the best part of this story. More often than not, companies screw up major opportunities like this because they just don't get the marketing and advertising right. Advertising campaigns must be memorable and resonate with potential customers, and it has to get that sales leverage point across clearly. With previous clients like Google, Microsoft, Coca-Cola, Ikea, Kelvin Klein, the mother advertising agency seems a promising fit for Nokia. So looking from a broader perspective, I think it's cool that a bunch of ex-Nokia staff got together and formed their own company, HMD Global, to take Nokia back from the grave and make it rise again. We'll of course see what happens, but I'm wishing them all the best. So that's just a quick summary and update about Nokia coming back. But if you want to know exactly what happened to Nokia in the first place, or want to know about their history, I have a three-part series on this channel about that exact topic. It's called The Rise and Fall of Nokia. I'll leave it in the description if you want to check it out. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. And if there's not a video before the new year, happy new year and I hope it's a great year for you guys. Cheers, have a good one. Cold fusion, it's new thinking.